everyone. It's been a while since I caught up with the YouTubers with my rants. Sorry, it's pretty hard making rants when you live in your van down by the river. I thought I'd dig into the mailbag for this rant. Now, on average, I get dozens of posts and comments on YouTube every single day, and I just simply don't have time to get to them all. And especially because uh, a lot of the comments are on par with the intellect of one writer who wrote in, I'm glad you have subtitles so I can understand your videos in my native language. Uh, English! Well, those aren't actually subtitles. They're called Open Captions for the Hearing Impaired. You see, I have a lot of deaf viewers on YouTube and who really appreciate the fact that I have open captions on my videos. Unfortunately, they still haven't developed the technology for open captions for the mentally impaired. <laughs> see what I have to put up with? To see? Well, apparently some people were offended by my comments on President Obama in rant number 35. Well, you see, these are what we call jokes. I tend to tell a lot of them in these rants. I also had several viewers write in asking about the numbering system on my rants. For example, Hey Ian, what's with the numbering system on your rants? Is that an example of random mutations? And you have them numbered in the hundreds, where do I find the rest of them? Well thanks for writing in, but you see, that was half the point. There was so many things to rant about, I didn't know where to begin. So I made a really big long list, and then I started in the middle. So I'll be referring to all kinds of different rants in the other rants, and it'll keep on going that way until I get them all done which will probably happen when I die. There was also a lot of comments on several of my videos about the gain of information in the genome. Uh, one viewer in particular wrote in asking what creationists would consider to be an increase in information. <laughs> well, what a fine example of trying to dodge the problem. Come on, evolution has information arising from no information. And you want me to define what an increase in information is? It was also obvious that some of the skeptics didn't get the point I was making in rant number 35. So let me see if I can explain it another way. Do these letters contain any information? Let me ask again. Do these letters contain any information? So what changed? Well, I'll tell you what changed. Intelligence was added to the letters. The letters merely convey the information. But now what if we add letters? Does that add information? Not unless you add letters with intelligence. Randomness does not produce more information. In fact, we lose the information we already had. This is the point I was making in rant number 35. If you add a letter to the phone book, you don't gain information, you actually lose information. By adding an A to Johnson, we added one character of information and lost 20 characters of information because we lost all of the information for the Johnsons. In fact, the evolutionary community has yet to produce even one example of an increase of information in the genome. In fact, all the research in the evolutionary community has shown that we are actually losing information. In rant number 78, I'll give you the details on this. In fact, once again, the skeptics are dodging the question. Go back to rants number 35, 121, and then tell me which came first. So, which came first? The DNA which contains the plans for the robots which maintain the DNA, or the robots which are needed to maintain the DNA so we have plans for the robots? So using the scientific tool of intelligent design, is it more scientific and logical to conclude that all these complex parts were created at the same time and formed together, seeing as how they're codependent? Or is it more scientific to say that they formed by unguided processes that were completely unrelated? Think, man, think! All of these incredibly complicated codependent systems really do declare the glory of our Creator, Jesus Christ. It amazes me that perfectly intelligent people can believe that these systems came about by chance. You have more blind faith than I'm willing to give. It also amazes me how often the skeptics ask what my credentials are, as if that has anything to do with whether I'm right or not. This is clearly nothing more than an ad hominem attack. I mean, come on! Do you think you have to be a certified mechanic to work on vehicles? Even an amateur can train themselves to expert levels without ever going to school. Hey, are you a certified mechanic? No. Oh, really? So, what gives you the right to work on that van then? Why should anybody trust what you're doing? How do we know that what you say about mechanic work is true? Yeah, that's what I thought. No answer. Oh, yeah, so you got the engine running. Yeah, I'm impressed. You still haven't proven yet. Hey, 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 hey! Besides which, 
Darwin wasn't trained as a scientist, his only degree was in theology. And Sir Charles Lyell, the father of the modern science of geology, he wasn't a scientist either. He was only trained as a lawyer. So go ahead, ask what my credentials are, because then all the viewers can see that you can't answer the science. So, if you're watching this by YouTube, do me a favor, it only takes a second, so subscribe over there, click the subscribe button if you wouldn't mind, and we'll see you later. I gotta go take a nap.